Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, November 26th, and it is a chilly, rainy day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Not what I was hoping for, but hey, we take what we get, right? Ah, good day so far. It's a little later than usual. Uh, morning just slipped away from me, just doing stuff, and uh, it's about 10 o'clock now. I usually make these videos a lot earlier than that. Um, I am... Just to show you, I'm not a one-trick pony here. I've got a cob with autumn evening in it, but I am quickly going to put this down and switch to something else because I I was smoking this while I was making the title card there. Um, I hope you like that title card. I was quite proud of it. And uh, by the way, there will be no puns. So if you're worried about that, there will. Well, there'll be a minimum number of puns, but, uh, and, and if you don't get that, then go watch Tales from the Crypt. Okay. Anyway, autumn evening's going to go away, and we're going to switch over to an Irish second with uh, Haunted Bookshop, because I'm more comfortable with that when I'm talking to y'all. <laughs> that was getting to the bottom of the bowl, anyway. All right, so been a busy week. Um, good busy, fun busy. Um, took the week off, so I, I had the week of Thanksgiving. I I didn't go to work, uh, and I'm not going to work tomorrow either. I'm going back on Tuesday, so that's uh, it's been a nice vacation. Uh, Thanksgiving was very nice, quiet. Uh, just the wife and I. Good food. Uh, relaxed a bit. Watched some TV. Just basically hung out and did nothing really special, you know, called relatives and whatnot. But, you know, I hope your Thanksgiving was uh, was good and that you, you enjoyed it and got to get together with some friends and family and uh, eat some good food and, and reflect a bit on what you're, what you're thankful for. So that's what it, I suppose that's what it's all about, or the holiday that is. Yeah, so... Uh, did a lot, of, spent a lot of time down here in the shop and not doing anything terribly productive, to be honest. I mean, I've gotten little things done and I've been working on a lot of little things. Um, I still need to make drawers and that's planned for Christmas vacation, so, uh, which is not that far away. I mean, I, I, I've got, I think, 12 work days left this year, <laughs> so it's pretty, pretty remarkable given we haven't even started December yet. Um, but that's the way it always is. I, I work like crazy all year and then I've got all this vacation time to use up and I'm not going to throw it away. So. so, yeah, I've been doing lots of little things. I've been spending a lot of time on the lathe, and which is why the Tales from the Lathe thing was there. Um, a lot of time on the lathe and, and a lot of that's been... Well, doing some things that I've needed to do, so uh, that that's part of it. But also, a lot of it's just been, I hate to say playing, but I have been playing and, and like doing skill building type stuff, because I haven't done any spindle work in quite a while. And uh, I used to do a lot of that, and then I didn't do any, and very rarely used the lathe, and then got into the bowl turning a while back, and uh, a couple months back. And really enjoyed that and sort of had to pick up the skills around bowl turning. And now I want to eventually get back to pipes and to do that, it's combination bowl spindle sort of style. So I think I'm, I've learned a lot doing the bowl turning that's going to help me. But at the same time, I got to you know, get the spindle stuff back. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's just different tools and different techniques. So, um, in, in the area of things I needed to get done, you, you probably remember these. These are uh, my little French wheels covered in sandpaper. I did a blog post on these, and I've talked about them before. Uh, so one of the things I needed to do was make a couple bigger ones. And it's not covered yet, obviously. It still needs to get a foam backing on it and then uh, covered with sandpaper, of course. Uh, made one for me and one for a friend. And... Uh, yeah, I think they, they turned out nicely. Little dome surface. 
very useful. These mount onto a motor and spin, obviously. And you can use them for sanding uh, different shapes, different contours. Are really, really useful. One of the cool things is you can make any shape you want. Uh, as long as you can stick sandpaper to it, it's good. So it got those done. I'm working on a tool handle because I've, I've got a bowl gouge that I need to put a handle on. So I've got actually decided to go with a lamination for that because I don't have a piece of wood big enough. Uh, but it, it'll, it'll be kind of cool because it's going to be cherry, uh, two pieces of cherry with a piece of ash in the middle. So it'll look nice. So I've been doing that. Uh, that, that glued up yesterday, so I should be able to cut it down and turn it today if all goes well. And well, I made a Christmas tree. <laughs> And you know, this is the kind of thing that, that this is this is a throwaway. Obviously, the proportions are terrible on it. Uh, I don't like the lines of it, and I I chipped it when it was coming off, uh, trying to trying to part it off. So there's a lot wrong with this. But it's it's a nice skill builder because I just used uh, skew chisel to, to do that, and you know I can look at this and I can tell you what's wrong with it. Not that you care, but. Um, like I want straight lines for this. It's a Christmas tree, so it should be straight lines and straight lines. And what I've got are curves. You know, this looks more like a like a pagoda than a Christmas tree at the top. And then you, you might not be able to see it, but the the bottom of these little triangles is kind of scooping rather than going straight in. So it's just a piece of two by four, you know, and it's it's fun, and I can throw it away because I don't care about it that much, but now I can go back and make another one and try to get those lines straighter. And so it's just skill building stuff. And that's one of the reasons I've been turning all these tampers. You know, you, you saw these guys uh, finally settled into this size. And what I do is I know the dimensions for each end. So the two very ends. And now I've settled on the dimension for either side of that bead in the middle. So I've got the piece of wood. I, I, round it, I set those dimensions, and then everything else is freehand. So I can play with, uh, you know, how this tapers. Does it taper down or does it taper up? Is it a straight line or is it a curve? Does it curve in, does it curve out? Uh, the bead, you know, what different ways are, is the bead symmetric, asymmetric? Uh, how big is it? How wide is it? I can't really play with the width because it's set at the beginning. but. Yeah, things like that I, I can I can play with, and at the same time I can try different tools. So I can turn one with just a, a skew chisel. I can turn another one with just the spindle gums, and see how they compare. Adjust the grinds on those tools. It's 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 skill building. It's learning, and it uses up scraps of wood, which is kind of cool. So I I this is cherry, and you've seen a bunch of those. Uh, made one out of oak. This is white oak, which is kind of nice. Got some green in that. Um, and this guy, <laughs> there's a story behind this one. He set this down. So I thought this, when I when I picked up the piece of wood, I thought it was Cocobola, which it clearly is not. Uh, it's You can see it. I'm looking at the monitor over there to see if you can see it. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> you can see it's yellowed, uh, a yellow, orangey kind of color. Um, this is Bacote. And... <laughs> I really wish it wasn't because it turns out, I didn't realize until I was well into turning this that it was not Cocobolo, it was in fact Bacote. Uh, I'm allergic to Bacote. <laughs> I'm very allergic to it. Uh, <clears throat> not in this form, you know, this is this is not a problem. It's, it's sanded, sealed and everything else and I, it's not like putting this on my skin bothers me at all. But the powder, the, the, the sanding dust, the uh, the chips, those kind of things, I get a contact dermatitis from it. I am terribly itchy right now. I don't know if you can see, but it, it almost looks like I'm sunburned down here. Um, I was wearing a shirt like this when I was turning it. I should have been wearing something more with like a turtleneck and long sleeves and cuffs and. You know, I can turn it if, if I know, well, first of all, I've got to know that it's Picote, and secondly, I've got to uh, plan for it. Um, fortunately, I had the dust collector on, because the way I discovered I was allergic to it was I actually started to get cold-like symptoms, um, sore throat and sinus pain and stuff. And 
<clears throat> all this itching as well. So I was able to connect the dots and say, oh, it's the wood. Uh, exotic woods can be very allergenic, so you got to be careful if you're playing with them. And I've got all the right stuff, you know, and I've got I've got dust collection, a dust collecting hood that basically comes right up behind the piece. I mean, to be honest with you, the only way it could be more efficient is if the piece was actually turning inside of that hood. And that was on when I was, and I still have this problem. So I think, I think it's a lot of the chips too, that, you know, they just stick to your skin and it gives them time to do whatever they do. Anyway, that was fun. <laughs> So I'm still itchy that, that I did that on Saturday and I'm still itchy, but it is a beautiful wood so Not worth the uh, The pain and everything but and I love the grain on this piece in particular because If you look again, I'm gonna have to look over here to see you can see all that straight grain and you can actually follow it all the way through the piece um, and See how it even splits off some at some points Thank you. This is I get that focus a bit better. And you can see that straight grain kind of splitting off and diving into other parts, and then it becomes a, a little eye there on the bead. And then when you look at the ends, you just get the straight grain. So it's just a really nice, really nice grain in this piece. Sorry, I'm a geek for that kind of stuff. So, yeah, tool handles, French wheels, Christmas trees, and tampers. <laughs> Why am I making these tampers? Uh, again, it's skill building and it's uh, it's using up scraps of wood. Those are the main reasons. Uh, but it's fun. Um, and people have asked me, am I going to sell them? Am I going to make other types? And like this guy here, and this is coincidental, this is one that I made a while back, uh, my friend at Durham Duke sent me the shell for this, and I made one for me and one for him. You know, am I going to make tampers and sell them? I don't know. Um, I don't really want to get into that, to be honest. Um, I still have my website active. i got to do something with it. And I always thought that I would do things like make a batch of corn cob stems and throw them up on the website and say, hey, if you want them, they're there. So maybe I'll make a bunch of these and throw them up on the website. I have no idea how to price something like this. Um, I don't know. What's somebody going to pay for this? I mean, it may not be worth the time, effort, and shipping. But I appreciate the folks that ask because it lets me know that you, you like what I'm doing. So that's nice. Ah, so... What does today hold? Well, other than feeling itchy, it is going to rain. It might already be raining, so I'm not going to do anything outside today. I still have yard work to do. I still got leaves that I got to clear. And I was hoping to do that tomorrow, one of the reasons I took off tomorrow. But if it rains today, everything's going to be wet, so that'll be fun. Yeah, we'll get it done. And, uh, yeah, the rest of the day, I'm just going to be... I think I'm going to take it easy today. I'm, I'm going to turn that tool handle just because I'm really curious to see how the laminated wood turns. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to do much down here. Maybe now that Thanksgiving's over, we can start to think about Christmas. Um, not that I'm getting it out of the way, it's just that's the next step. I like cycles. <laughs> so we on, on the yearly clock, we're in, we've passed Thanksgiving o'clock, and now we're heading towards uh, Christmas time. And I, I've always been the kind of person that didn't like to see any Christmas stuff before Thanksgiving is over. I just like I like Thanksgiving. It's probably my favorite holiday. And to sort of put it to the background because you're trying to get to Christmas, I think is a shame. So maybe we'll watch some Christmas movies or something. Um, <laughs> the not this past week, but the week before on the live stream, we were talking about uh, Christmas movies and, and the topic of whether or not Die Hard is a Christmas movie came up. And you know, I still don't think Die Hard is a Christmas movie. It's it's 
and you know the the excuse is well it takes place at Christmas time yeah okay that's like saying Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer is a hunting movie but I found two new Christmas movies if you're gonna use that logic Trancers and a movie that you have to see called Chompy and the Girls. Chompy and the Girls, it sounds, it's not what it sounds like. It's a, I, I don't know, I guess you'd call it like a horror comedy or a monster comedy movie. It's, it's very light on the horror monster aspects and pretty heavy on the comedy. It's a bit of a dark comedy. It's hilarious. I watched it by myself when my wife was in Pittsburgh, and then I asked her to watch it. She doesn't like monster movies, horror movies, and she enjoyed it. She thought it was a great movie. Uh, it's called Chompy and the Girls. It's available on, I think it was Tubi. It was either Tubi or Plex. I'm pretty certain it was Tubi. And uh, it's free, and oh, it's a great movie, and it's a Christmas movie. So this Christmas, if you're watching Die Hard, don't forget to also watch Trancers and Chumpy and the Girls. Fantastic Christmas movies. Uh, I'm being facetious. Last thing I got to talk about is the tobacco of the week, which obviously I'm not smoking. Um, there is no tobacco of the week this week. <laughs> If you watch the live stream, you know why. So last week I suffered through that, um, whatever that was. Oh, Kendall, Kentucky. And I did smoke a bowl every day. Uh, and it never got any better. Uh, in fact, it got worse because once I realized it was 100% dark fired, I could really taste the dark fired plus the other stuff, the, the floral stuff that's in there. And I don't care what anybody says. They put floral stuff in there and my buddy Doug Owen had the same experience if I remember it was Doug on the live stream said that there's definitely uh, topping in that anyway the tobacco of the week this week chosen by you the viewers on the live stream was uh, Galwathan Hogarth Louisiana Perique Flake I had about less than half a bowl of this during the live stream and I had to give up this stuff is awful <clears throat> this might be the worst thing I've ever put in a pipe I mean it's it, go watch the live stream if you want to know what it what, what it was a horrible experience I got halfway through I could not finish it and the kind folks on the live stream who were enjoying the heck out of this <laughs> started telling me just throw it away. Just don't don't finish it. So I appreciate that. I, I, I got I got out. I got off the hook. And I said, I'm just not going to, I don't want to ever smoke that again. It's, it was just, it, it is loaded with that geranium, rose water, Kendall, uh, not Kendall, Lakeland junk. <laughs> I don't know why they put that on tobacco. I don't know why anybody would buy it. I think it might be a practical joke of some sort that the English are trying to pull on the rest of the world. It is vile, awful, terrible stuff. And uh, it ghosted my mouth. Okay, yesterday I was still tasting the floral stuff from that. Um, and uh, if that ever happens to you, we had uh, pizza last night. We had a cauliflower pizza, uh, which is very good, by the way. Cauliflower crust. <clears throat> And uh, I put garlic powder on it, and I probably put more than I normally would because I'm, I couldn't taste it. And that seemed to make it go away. So garlic might be the, the cure. Of course, then everybody goes away from you. But... So I'm not smoking that. There is no tobacco the week this week. <laughs> and we got something special next week. I'm gonna, I got a new... Um, Holiday, I'm trying a new holiday tobacco. I did it again. I bought a holiday aromatic and uh, I smoked exactly one bowl of it because I wanted to get my wife's opinion on the, the room note. And I'm going to smoke another bowl. So it'll be my second bowl on Friday night, this coming Friday night, 
to introduce it and, and talk a bit about it there. And then next Sunday I'll do a full, um, more informed um, impression video of this. And you don't know what it is because it's a surprise. So that's something to look forward to. So there will not be a Tobacco of the Week next week either. In terms of other plans, we've got um, our interview with Santa Claus coming up on the 20, 21st, 22nd, whatever, whatever the Friday is before Christmas. Now, I'm going to, I've talked to Santa and he's going to try really hard to make it, but you know, he's a busy guy. So there's some chance that, that he may not be able to make it, although we're, we're planning for it. So in that event, I'll have to do something else. So if you are interested in doing, in, in doing something fun, um, <clears throat> if you want to write a letter to Santa, this is YTPC Santa, so it can be pipe related, uh, send it to me. Send me an email. If you got questions for Santa, send it. Uh, uh, you, the email address is canerodpiper at gmail.com. Uh, send me whatever you think might be fun to read. Uh, if you got Christmas jokes. Now, I'm not going to promise to read it because if Santa is there, then we're going to have a chat with Santa. But just in case he doesn't show up, if there's anything you want to share with me, whether it be a letter to Santa, a question for Santa, uh, a Christmas joke, Christmas story, you know, something funny that happened to you at Christmas, whatever, send it on. And uh, if Santa can't show up, we'll use it. If he can show up, uh, maybe I'll, I'll use it uh, another time. I won't be able to use it on a live stream because Christmas will be over before the next one, but we'll figure something out. Anyway, I'd appreciate your help with that if you, if you got the time and inclination. So with that, friends, I'm going to get off and uh, turn me a ball gouge handle. So I hope you all have a fantastic Sunday and are looking forward to a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will talk to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. Mm -hmm.